What's going on, family? TJ Lofton here giving you the update of the exciting news that most of y'all probably didn't understand what was going on, but you see it in the news and you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But I want to talk about the infrastructure bill. You know, I got it sitting here on my computer, the $1 trillion infrastructure bill. Let me talk about what is infrastructure, because a lot of people, it went whoosh, right over their head. They didn't understand. What does that mean? What do that got to do with me? They didn't understand that. So this is why I've been talking about people in the trades, because the infrastructure bill 100% helps people with a trade. This is going to, which is 99% the, the, the European white man here in America. And now going to be the foreigners who are coming here, who has the trades, exclu excluding the African-Americans, you know, because uh, African-Americans, black people, us, people look like me. Most of us don't have, I, I have trades. I have the trades. I benefit from this infrastructure bill. That's why I'm talking about it. But African-Americans, for the most part, have a four-year degree, which has zero to do with working with your hands. This infrastructure bill was designed to help the white European male and any foreigners who are coming over here because everyone has, the majority of them have a trade. So infrastructure, we are talking about, uh, they're going to spend a trillion dollars to work on the infrastructure. So let me break down where that trillion going. $550 billion in new federal spending, the measure would provide $65 billion to high-speed internet access, $110 billion for roads, bridges, and other projects, $25 billion for airports, and the most, the most funding for Amtrak since the passenger rail service was founded in 71. Family, right now we are already at a historical high. We are at historical levels of infrastructure, of, of rebuilding home, of building brand new houses, rehabbing homes, uh, building brand new uh, shopping centers and, and uh, commercial warehouses all over the country. There is currently not enough tradesmen in America to handle the business that's already here. Now, they're talking about spending another one trillion. Now they're talking about spending another one trillion dollars, not on top of the three point five trillion dollar social policy bill that is coming this fall. So how does that got to do with us? The tradesmen, they're going to be eating for a long time. Their children's children are going to be eating off of this trillion dollar plate right here. So the people who got the four year degrees, the people who really got the, don't have no type of trades or skills, they may not even get overtime. If you understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. So now would be a good time to pivot and say, you know what? I don't care if you three years into your four year degree, you may want to consider dropping out and jumping into a trade school because the infrastructure bill on top of this $3.5 trillion uh, social policy bill, $1 trillion infrastructure bill, $3.5 trillion social policy bill. It's about, it's bananas out here already with all this gentrification, with the tariffs, with uh, 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 all of these things happening with the big shift the people move, corporations moving. Family, pivot. Get into get into position. This is why I've been talking about this. You know, I haven't been here to blast college people. I've been here to tell y'all what's really going on in the world. And right now is a great time to start a business. If you do anything that got to do with the trades and, and infrastructure, like $65 billion going to airports, I know of a sister that just got $300 million to put the awning over the top of the uh, Atlanta airport, Hartsville-Jackson, $300 million. Gave to a African American woman, three hundred million dollars gave and given to an African American woman before the trillion dollar infrastructure bill was paid. So I know for that sister's going to reap more benefits in a major way. She may get a billion dollar contract. You understand what I'm saying? Because they out there now. So 
getting in position to receive that kind of money, you're going to do well. You know what I'm saying? That sister got that $300 million contract. That's enough to eat off for, for her children and her grandchildren's children. You understand what I'm saying? So now here's more money on the table. Get into position, family. That's what this is all about. If you don't know how to get in position, reach out to me and holler at me, TJ Lofton, tjlofton.com, and let me teach you the game on entrepreneurship. Let me teach you the game on real estate development. This is where the money is, family. And I'm not talking about peanuts. I'm talking about your average contractor should make $100 million. Should not be a problem making $100 million in the next four years. You hear what I just said? Should on a minimum. So if you say that somebody tells you they started a contractor's business today, and then in five years you say, wow, I can't believe my friend said he retired with a billion dollars. I don't know if I can believe that or not, but I don't know. I know he got a Rolls Royce now. I'm going to be like, yeah, he did. I believe that. And that's nothing compared to what's out there. So if you want to learn this game, family, you want to learn land development, you want to learn how to watch the news and hear things that's actually going to benefit you, then you need to be hollering at me. Let me coach you. Let me teach you this game. Let me teach you how real estate really works. This ain't about flipping. This ain't nothing about no tax liens. This ain't nothing about being a wholesaler. This is real estate. Not flipping, not tax liens, not wholesaling. This is real estate. The real stuff. This is the real money right here. Land development, infrastructure. They building bridges? You know how much it costs to build a bridge? Come on, y'all. We got to really wake up. We talking about billions of dollars going to concrete companies. Billions of dollars going to uh, steel companies. Billions of dollars going to labor. Billions upon billions of dollars going to labor. People that just know how to weld, that know how to use their hands. Family making investments in these areas where they're putting brand new infrastructure is critical. We talking about working 30 years or retiring in four. Your choice. Stick with what you're doing and finish out working your 30 years or come learn from me and let me show you how you can retire in four years just based on this brand new bill about the infrastructure, family. You want to learn this game? Reach out to me, family. Other than that, it's your choice if you want to do 30 years at the job, if you want to work another 15 till you retire, or you want to say, let me pivot, throw all this in the, ri <clears throat> in the river over here, and let me go in here and learn, learn some, some trades. Let me invest in the dump truck. Let me invest in a concrete mixer. Let me invest in a backhoe. Let me invest in a bulldozer. Let me invest in any one of those things will make you money, family. So if you want to learn the game from me, reach out to me, TJ Lofton, and let me show you where you can put certain amounts of, certain amounts of money into certain things that will create you millions of dollars a year so you can tap into this infrastructure bill family tjlofton.com tjlofton.com l-o-f-t-i-n 310-619-3954 family holler at me because this shit is real one-on-one -on -one coaching from the number one real estate business guru been around family been around been here for years this ain't new to me peace and love y'all have a great one